the Pentagon building, Thomas K. Finletter is sworn in as Secretary of the Air Force by Defense Secretary Johnson. America's Chiefs of Staff see the former head of the President's Air Policy Commission, which recommended a 70-group Air Force, congratulated by his predecessor, W. Stuart Symington, who then leaves the Pentagon to receive a final salute from the service he commanded. Later, Chief Justice Vinson swears Mr. Symington into a new job. Chairmanship of the National Security Resources Board, charged with the planning of mobilization of all U.S. resources against emergency. 